What is up guys, my name is Mark Simmer and welcome back to another Tech Tuesday. Today guys, I'm gonna show you something that once I found out how to do this, I do it all the time. It makes things a lot cleaner. I'm gonna show you how to make servo leads. So let's say you have a servo, you wanna shorten the wire, but you don't want, you don't want all the wire laying around. You just wanna shorten it and make it look really professional. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. So the parts you'll need is you'll need Protec PTK5009. I mean, you don't need Protec, but that's the ones I use. They're actually a really good price. Uh, they are JR style servo connectors. And then you'll need a crimping tool, which is this tool. I'll put all the links in the description below. Let me go ahead and show you guys how to do this. All right, so here's my wire. I need to put a female end because this is gonna be an extension that I need to make. Uh, I need to put a female end on here. So what you're gonna need to do, I actually, I'm gonna set this aside because I already have a pack opened up here is you want to go ahead and take the insulation off around the wire. I can actually just use my fingers because these things are so thin. All right, so look, I got all the insulation off around the wire. Not all, but just enough where I want a contact point. I would say maybe, how many, maybe half a centimeter, I don't know. Half a centimeter sounds good. So depending on what you want, if you want to use a, if you want to put a female on there, you're going to want to use the female ends. I am going to use the male ends because we are putting a male on there. This is, these are the male ends. So I'm going to take these off. All right. So here's where all the magic happens. So what you want to do is you want to put the insulation. I'll show you guys how I'm going to do this. And crimp the insulation just with your fingernails. So it's going to look like this. See that? So this first part crimps the insulation and this part will crimp the actual wire. So what I like to do is I like to make sure that the, uh, I'm not going to cut it, but I'm going to close these up so the wire makes good contact or so the crimping tool grabs the, uh, so it looks like that. So I basically just closed up that part that holds the wire a little bit. That way the crimping tool grabs it correctly. And then what you want to do is you want to put it in the crimping tool like so I'm gonna put it in the bigger one make sure it's grabbing it and then you're just gonna squeeze just a little bit just to make sure it closes it so look it closed it up really good now I'm gonna squeeze it really good not super tight because if you squeeze it super tight I made this mistake before it will actually crimp it too much and then actually just break the lead off I'm gonna go a little bit smaller just crimp it a little bit tighter There you go. So you have this. It won't come off. Now, if you're gonna put a lot of stress and like pull pull out really, really hard, you know you're gonna be pulling on this wire really hard. You can put it just a little bit, like a little drop of solder on there. Sometimes I'll do that on some of this, the uh, servo leads that I know are, is gonna go into a really tight receiver. But so now you just gotta do the with do this to the rest of the two, the other two. Golly, I'm losing my words today. Again, what I'm using the scissors to do, I'm just using it to close the piece, the, the part that crimps the wire. Because if they're too wide open, it's not going to crimp the wire. It's just going to split them open. All right, so once you have all the leads on the wire, it's going to look just like this. They're all tied on there. They're not going to come off. And then you're going to want to grab one of these pieces, it looks like a female servo connector, but it's not. And you're just gonna wanna follow the pattern on this one. So on this one, looks like white is on the left, red is in the middle, black is on the right. Just wanna do the exact same thing. There you go, it's gonna look like that. And then you're gonna get a piece like this, you can see right through it. And then when you look inside this piece, you're probably not gonna be able to see it. You'll be able to see a little tooth that basically grabs this servo connector and put it in there accordingly, like this. There you go. So now that is a female servo lead. Well, I hope that helps guys. I will say the first few times I did it, I screwed it up. Don't think you're gonna get this right the first time. I think I wasted maybe two packs. <laughs> 
of servo connectors before I actually got it right. It takes a little bit of trial and error and you really just kind of understand the limits that you can push. The biggest problem is if you over tighten it or you over squeeze this crimping tool, it will, again, it will just break that lead off. And another thing that will happen is if you don't squeeze it enough, it won't grab onto the actual wire and then they'll just pull out. But I hope you liked this video guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later guys.